The family of Erica de Leon speaking out about life after the murder of their daughter. They say even though they're relieved the alleged murderer is back in custody, our 3 News reporter Madeline Dart tells us why they say they'll never really find closure. We would call each other every day. And that day I tried calling her. She won't answer. She won't answer. I finally called my ex-husband and I told him to go check at the trailer and that's where she was at. Another day goes by that Pedro and Deborah Cantu don't think about their daughter. Her laugh. She always had a smile on her face. Made everybody happy. Four years later, justice will finally be served. Erica's family and friends are thrilled to hear her killer was found and extradited back to Texas. Elation. Oh, <laughs> I even hugged the chief of police. That's uh, that's how excited I got. Man, it was one of the best days of my life. Said we got caught. So I didn't know whether to scream or, and I was speeding. I was like, oh my God, you know, if they stop me, I'm going to tell them why I'm speeding, you know. Mr. Cantu is incredibly thankful for those involved in bringing De Leon back to Texas. He intends on going to the arraignment. Well, I'm proud of uh, our chief of police and uh, the Texas Rangers that were involved in the case, and, you know, I'm very proud. Even though family and friends are happy to know De Leon has been caught, it can't fix one thing. No, it'll never bring closure. It's, it's never going to be the same because my baby's gone. As of right now, there is no word on when Deleon's arraignment will be. Madeline Dart, 3 News.